All right, we're at the roll vault, and we are doing the uh, fixed Porsche Cup. So, uh, new car. I'm not very comfortable with it, but I'm never comfortable with any car at this track. Um, it's just, yeah, it's a difficult track, even though it's somewhat, I don't know, I'd call it simple because it doesn't have a whole lot of turns. Uh, it's just, it's really hard for me to put the car on the edge where I need it to be. So I'm always just a little too shallow into corners. And um, this car, I'm finding, doesn't really like to have brake in it when you're trying to turn like normally normally you can get away with it and uh, I don't know if it's just because all the rear weight I, I don't know what it is but I'm just I'm struggling to get what I want out of it so I w did a Lotus 79 race um, it was fun until I got wrecked. Unfortunately, the audio for the game did not go through because I got an update and I only corrected it on my voice and not the game. So I don't think anyone wants to just hear my voice and no engine sounds, especially when it's that great engine sound out of that. So going out on track and getting more laps in to hopefully help myself. We are the nine car, so maybe that's a positive, or maybe we're just going to be destroyed by a bunch of people. A thousand I rating less than us. I don't know. We'll see what I ratings are. But God, I hate that turn. See, I'm just always too too narrow aggressive on throttle, not aggressive enough on braking. Well, that was too aggressive. But yeah, it's going to be interesting. I'm going to try to run this and the Lotus this season, just get some more road racing in, a break from the paved oval and everything else. It is probably the greatest car I've ever painted, um, but that's, uh, I mean, it's just an iRacing scheme now. I will, uh, I'll do a quick little tour around it. Just so you can see it, it's actually two different schemes that I combined together to uh, make this. So, the uh, stripes from the hood all the way onto the roof is one scheme, and then the side and all that design is another and the stripe up here goes with this stripe so it kind of just came together perfectly and i absolutely love the way this looks so i am very 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 happy with it i think it looks really good love the colors um still not sure about the roof but i think it works it's it's hard to get used to putting sponsors on a roof because I'm used to a number being up there. But yeah, I I like it. And I think it's really good for the little effort that it took. So once you start combining some of those iRacing uh, templates, it it goes well. Let's take a holy shit, we've got 24 cars in this. And we're all pretty much around the same I rating. Well, I guess we qualify. 
because I don't want to start in the back of 24 cars. Oops. Put this back on. Alright. Let's see how bad we are. I'm not going to try to overdrive it. I'm just going to get a lap, find out where that puts us. Because once I'm in racing situations, I'm not going to be able to push it very hard just because my lack of experience on road racing. of the lap. This turn one is tricky. It gets really loose and bump. Like there's some bumps going over that transition and I've been struggling with it. Then you want to go out somewhat wide here so that you can get a good run off the corner. Got a little loose there. And this corner you can really attack in a stock car, but I'm just not feeling like I can get back to the apex for that next turn. And then here, scary wall. Always struggle getting back up onto the track. Use up those curbs. Straight line across that. And let's see what this ends up being. And really easy through there, but we're gonna get an even better run to the line here. Okay, 20.6. Second's gonna move us up much because we're nearly dead last already. Or very well could be dead last of the people that have put in a lap. Sliding a bit, and then we cut. The so it was going to count. Up. Let's just say that would have been a 19.6, and that would have put us nowhere. Well, I mean, like six spots higher. No big deal. We're going to be at the back. That's probably best. ugly. I'm not going to be very good. But that's why you race. The more you race, the better you, you can get. Maybe.
doesn't look like anyone else is going to be putting in a lap where they have and didn't do it without an X. Big jump. It doesn't get too crazy over the um, ramps, the turtles, the curbs, whatever you want to call them. It's the only time you got to be careful is when you're coming out of a corner. If it starts bouncing, very easy for those bounces to turn into rotation. So. <laughs> There we are, we're ready for the race. I assume it's a sanding start. Yes, it is. And standing starts at this track are, well, really stupid. They should have put the grid through there. But apparently they don't have the tech to make it not give us a cutting the course if we drive through that part. It would be so much better. So we're already going to be quite quite a ways behind. Um, let me refresh paints. I haven't done that yet. Should have done that a while ago, but... Get most everyone loaded up, and then I'll get in the car. It's a very big field. I don't even know what class... Must be a class C. Since the lowest we see is Class C drivers. Got a couple more cars that I'd like to load in before I get in the car. Please. Maybe they're just starting from the pits, or maybe this is just really gapped out in the grid just be really grabbed out. Oh, we're not actually too bad here. It's going to be awkward. But I think we've got a, yeah, we got a fairly big gap to the cars in front of us. We just got to watch us cutting across too much. All right, here we go. Green, green, green. Side. Right side, go left. Go we got left. issues. Go Clear on the right. We survived that. Everyone's being very careful. This guy's being too careful almost. We don't want to run into the back of him don't want to get ran into the back of, so just take our time. It's kind of a draft track. God, that did not turn. Got to locking up on me. Luckily, the guy behind really screwed up. I had to kind of use some uh, lift off tactics so it didn't lock up. Now, this was what I was afraid of. The draft I haven't been in yet into that corner. One minute and 29.7. Try to scare this guy four, off, four, but. I just, I couldn't put it in there with as bad as I've been through that corner with bouncing up to the right. Alright, well, we're up to 11th. Alright, it looks like the 8 is putting a little pressure and a little bumper and... 
they make more contact. And we're up one more spot. We'll try to get around the 16 as he has a very bad exit there. Not going to be able to get it done into this chicane. And probably not the next one, but if we keep pressure on this guy, maybe we can get him to make a mistake. Just trying to get some better exits than him. Oh my god! just stopped. Well, I wasn't ready for that. Okay, guy behind us is really quick. In front of us hit the wall. Wish I was closer. Could have taken advantage of that. it up. He did not. And that time I was the guy stopping through there. I'm just going to get this guy past me. He's going to run us over if I don't. So I'll let him go run this guy over. And it looks like we have quality issues, so... Not cool. Might have been blinking through that whole bit. But we got a four and a half second gap behind us. A little front end damage. stupid move by the 16 because he just cost himself time trying to hang on the outside. Had he just backed off we wouldn't have had a chance to get around him. But he hung on the outside into a chicane. So then he had to check up and then we got a big run on him. So that worked out. Letting the one by. Oh, unless I fucking self spin. Okay, let's be careful on those down shifts. Luckily, he's really bad at getting up on the banking and loses a ton of time, so. As long as I don't shoot myself in the foot should be able to stay pulling away from him. Two point eight seconds to the twelve, he's also gonna be getting past. Oh. Or he's gonna be pitting. Interesting strategy. One 
Not sure why he would be in the pits, but he is, so... Just can't hit that wall, and I'll be okay. I just need to get away from this guy. Oh shit, steering wheel is pulling off. Get it tight enough for something awesome. Why I'm pulling back, I don't know. And we are racking up the incidents now. One minute, nineteen point seven five nine. Can't run through there. Almost went too wide on the exit. Way too fast in there, and then I shifted down when I shouldn't have, because that could have just pitched us. If you came here to see good road racing, I apologize. It is not going to be good. It is going to be very ugly and frantic. Sometimes that's fun to watch, right? It's just a guessing game if I'm going to wreck myself or not. So, everyone in front of me, no chance at now. We're pulling slightly away from the people behind. And the 16 seems to, uh... Fight overly aggressive for spots, which is going to slow everyone down if they get to him. Oh, nope, he has wrecked his pit. I don't know what's going on. The guy behind us started from pit lane, if that tells you how slow I am. Off. I did not mean off my desk. Positive through the infield. That will be good. Slow car ahead. Go left. 
Yes, please keep going 10 miles an hour in the groove. At least he turned left there. They're getting incident black flags. I have no idea. I'm confused. Three point four behind, so we pulled the gap back out just a bit. And we had a good infield. annoying bit of road racing. I'm not fast. There's a lot more faster people in the race, but they all end up wrecking, so I gain I rating. starting to come alive though. Feeling more connected with it. So I'm guessing lower fuel's helping change the balance up. But isn't the tank in front? Maybe it's center. I don't know. No, actually I think I've seen it in the back seat, maybe. While I'm thinking about that, I'm Completely screwing up this corner. And there goes half a second. Q 
2.8 seconds behind, as long as he doesn't get my draft. Slow down a little earlier for this. Boy, I'm not so far right when we hit the second bit of the chicane. Should help my exit there. That one. He's looking behind me, they were wrecking. And I almost put it in the wall into turn one. So, the guy behind me got plowed by the number two car. And, well, that saved me. Sure, the two try to pass into the chicane and just shoved him up into the wall. So now we got six seconds back, and uh, that sucks for the 17 car. He was having a good run. Pretty much, as long as I'm not a second slower every single lap till the end, we should be okay. Now, 17 might have just overdrove it and hit the wall, but it looked like car contact in the mirror. just to stay ahead of him. Five point three seconds. Lap of the race for me. I'm going to need it because he is still closing in on us. Six behind. laps here to the end. That's not perfect. Saved it though. Still bad. Fuck, 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 fuck. Mm -hmm. 
looks like he made a mistake as well. We could have pulled out a lot there. Instead, we give up half a second while he gave up quite a bit. And more now because I'm just falling apart because it's road racing and I'm getting near the end of the race. God, we could have been back up to like five and a half. Oh well, that's what happens when I try to push the car on road. at the line. Three and a half seconds behind us. You got a toy car on the right. Get slowed down by this guy again. Please get off the track. Thank you. Alright. Clear. Didn't get slowed down by him like last time, thankfully. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Jesus fucking... Oh, I hate fucking people. Fucking idiot. Well, now we're gonna get ninth, probably. Two seconds. Two laps, and we got some damage. So, yeah. What a fucking idiot. Spoke too soon when I said he didn't cost me much time. Right front's messed up. Should be okay. What an absolute idiot. No idea what the one car did, but he is dropping. Don't need to push it through here. Got our eighth, ahead of where I was supposed to finish. Nearly got murdered. Wow. That was eventful at the end. Chicken flag, chicken flag. 
absolutely stupid job, by that guy. Alright, well, let's go look at the wrecks. Jesus. Would we end up with 11 incidents? Damn. I, I can't. I mean, I can believe it, but I can't. The fuck. All right. Well, here we go. This is gonna be a long list of wrecks. I don't know why the two cars stopped there. You got a ton of room. Like, yeah, the guy's coming up your inside, but there is a lot of room. You don't need to stop. And then that. I got this dude that was trying to make up all the ground on this start. Like, he could have just destroyed us. He said he destroys himself, so that worked out well. And 13 losing it. And the 21 finding himself in that one as well. 12 cuts the course, gets a big jump. And, uh, I don't know if he, like, serves the penalty. 24 gets in the back of the 15. Don't know where the 14's headed. Frantic out there. 14 spins out. 24 gets into him. This was... Yeah. This 16 or... What's his number? Yeah, he was just really checking up hard out of nowhere. Like... That maybe wasn't it, but then the prediction code contact there little revenge. It wasn't on purpose, but it worked out. Got me the spot. Here's a 17 that was flying. Four car not having a good time. And then gets hit. 14 showing up a ton here. Oh my god, that one wasn't his fault. out the 24. Sixteen's gonna hit the wall behind us. Or no, that's in front of us, isn't it? Yep. Just curb hits. Twenty-one self spinning. Wiped out one dude. Nope, he actually backed off there. 24. Over the bumps again, too hard. Prediction code. That 
that was not. That was. This guy's just fucking lost on track. Ooh, hard hit for the five. I'm wondering if some of those hits are causing a uh, black flag, and that's why we're seeing people pitting. 16 eats the wall. Everyone's just hitting walls. Thought he was gonna get it. Big jump, big jump. Two screws up and does take out the 17. That sucks. That guy was gonna catch us. And they both were gonna catch us had they survived. And this guy, how he was still out there, I have no idea. He should have been up on incidents. This guy. Oh, he takes it really slow. Everyone's using the wrong spec map. They need to create a default one and not the one for this paint scheme. Help this guy almost catch us. Oh yeah, we got fucking drilled by a lap down car that let us go. Oh, that is why that dude was slow. Probably could have passed him had we not gotten wrecked. I feel better about my driving after watching this. not have been fast, but I wasn't hitting fucking walls. This is just fucking ridiculous. Like, where are you breaking? I wish I would have seen that earlier. I could have got on the brakes and got him past me. 21, looping it. code there and there you have it that was all of them let's take a look at results we've lost some safety rating I can tell you that already so kept it on track gained I rating lost safety rating not as much as I thought I would um, yeah what a cluster. Most incidents, the two car. So yeah, I guess people were just getting meatballs for hitting walls or something. I don't know why everyone was pitting. Very odd. But hope you enjoyed that. It's a little bit different racing. It's going to be different once we get to real tracks. The Roval's just not good. So, um, yeah. Hopefully I'll be able to run a full season, but we'll see. I'll probably get fed up with it, but thanks for watching.